have the pleasure of speaking with Justin Reed from Trollos Gold. How are you today? I'm great, thanks. Good morning, Tracy. Yeah, you know, I'll tell you, I was enjoying Dean Bristow's piece. He wrote, when a company that at this time has a market cap of roughly $100 million announces its announces it's raising 45 million or roughly 25% of its existing value, one has to take notice. And of course it raises 45 million. So let's start there with an update on your raise. Uh, yeah, uh, we, we've completed two raises in the last month, um, 45 million, which was an upsize from 35, a bought deal with a syndicate of six institutional uh, brokers and banks. Um, massively oversubscribed, had about $100 million in the book, which is great. Taking into account the flow through premiums, we raised the money at about an average cost of $1.45 a share, which was a pretty significant premium to where we were trading. And then alternatively, or, uh, last week, we closed an additional 11.1 uh, with the government of Quebec at the exact same price. And of course, we have to follow. We're following the money. It's attracted to Trillis Gold. Can you tell us what you're doing right and the competitive advantages of why we should all have Trillis Gold on our watch list today? Well, we, we now have 58 institutions on our register uh, and the majority have been with us since the beginning. Troilus is a large asset in a great jurisdiction that's already had an incredible amount of de-risking complete. 8.1 million ounces moving to the pre-feasibility level with an existing mining lease in place and a history of over 2 million ounces of production. Uh, we're going to be able to show in the very near term a 20 year plus open pit mine producing over 250,000 ounces of gold a year with copper and silver credits in a great jurisdiction of Quebec, which in this world of volatility uh, takes a lot away. Okay, so we have room though for retail investors, is that correct? Yeah, we, we've made a real push in the last year in expanding our retail presence. And in the last deal that we announced, we, we, we carved out 20% of the deal for our retail following. And that's something we're going to continue to do in the future. And obviously talking to you, Tracy, um, we're spending a lot more ta time talking to the drivers of the market, which is really the retail investors. Well, I'll tell you, investors like myself, we do follow what the institutions are investing in because of course they have huge uh, investments in their infrastructure. So let's also jump to the Quebec government, which also is giving you a vote of confidence. Let's talk about your most recent news and their involvement. Yeah, the Investment Quebec, the Quebec government through Investment Quebec uh, invested a $11.1 million into Troilus, which, which is great. You know, our balance sheet is incredibly strong now. We have almost $60 million in the bank and three years of runway. More importantly, it was a culmination of almost a year of due diligence, um, not only technical, but um, environmental and social, uh, jobs, taxation, impact to the Quebec North. And all of that led to this initial investment which is great uh, and a huge vote of confidence for us. But more importantly, we established the framework um, with IQ, with FDQ and with the case, our largest, three of our five largest shareholders, all Quebec-based institutions to establish a working group to move towards full project financing, which I think when you're at the pre-feasibility level is a major de-risking event for any company, knowing that the financing or the ultimate construction capital required is already being considered and being considered from great partners. Speaking of great partners, um, let's just jump right into your most recent drilling results. Uh, this is a former producing mine that you're reopening, correct? Yes. Okay. And the drilling results, we have had some feedback uh, wanting to know if your drilling results are competitive enough with some of the many companies out there that are currently, you know, putting out the drilling results? I mean, there's some spectacular results out right now, if you look at Great Bear and others, and, and I'm a shareholder. Um, Troilus operated for 14 years at the exact grade we're drilling now. 
Um, we've discovered a new zone in the Southwest, which in one month of drilling last year, we defined 600,000 ounces of surface. We have since drilled another 30,000 meters in the Southwest. Um, that's going to be included in our new resource in the, in the coming weeks. Uh, as well, the J zone, which is one of the past producing pits, um, we found a new extension. It's expanded over 850 meters along strike and all shallower than 200 meters, we're drilling between 30 and 60 meters of a gram plus material in an area which we had modeled as waste. So an economic deposit um, is being uh, is being increased or is getting better because we're replacing waste with ore and that's full margin to the uh, to the bottom line. So speaking of that, what should we as shareholders anticipate? I mean, we've had a lot of news here in the last couple of months. Can you talk to what, what we should anticipate, say, in the next quarter? Uh, we're still drilling 10,000 meters a month with between four and five rigs, depending if it's moving or not. Um, that's infill expansion and regional exploration. So uh, a, lot, a lot of new news talking about Troilus growing. Uh, about Troilus not only being a deposit, but being part of a district. Hence our 1,400 square kilometers that we've acquired over the last three years, looking at for the first time. They're going to have a new resource from us this quarter, um, which is going to show continued growth. We've add, added six and a half million ounces in the last two years. Um, that growth is going to continue. And more importantly, we're going to be able to show our inaugural reserve, which is a major de-risking event for us. And that that's all going to culminate into our pre-feasibility towards the end of the year. So lots of news supplemented with uh, exploration results. Well, Justin, as always, it's a pleasure to get an update on Trollis Gold and have you here on Investor Intel. Thank you. Thank you very much, Tracy.